You did. Okay. Should be in bed. You did them in time. <laughs> Lord is in his holy temple. All the earth keeps silence before him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess we have sinned against you and thought worthy of what we have done. done. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry we don't want to repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Mighty God of mercy, I need to give you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness. By the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence of thanksgiving and wait as our child to him of songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King of all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture. The sheep of his hand, all oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Psalm 119, beginning with verse 145, page 775. With 
pray together. I call Lord, with my whole father. Answer me, Lord, that I may keep your statutes. I call to you, oh, that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning I cry out to you, but in your word is my trust. My eyes are open and the night watches, and my hands take on the promise. Hear my voice, O oh Lord, according to your loving kindness, according to your judgments in your life. They draw near to the mountains to persecute me. They are very far of your law. You, O oh Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Behold my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Leave my cause and redeem me according to your promise to give me life. Deliverance is far from the wicked, but they do not serve your statutes. Raise your compassion, O Lord, and preserve my life according to your judgments. There are many who curse you and bless me. Yet I have not swerved from your decrees. I love with loathing of the faithless, but they have not kept your word. See how I love your commandments. O Lord, in your mercy, preserve me. The heart of your word is truth. All your righteous judgments endure forevermore. Rulers have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I am as loved because of your promise, as one who has played your soil. As the lives, I hate and abhor them, but your law is my love. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Break your peace and everything above your law, for then there is no stumbling block. I have hope for your salvation, O Lord, when I have fulfilled your commands. I have kept your decrees, and I have loved them deeply. I have kept your commandments and decrees all my ways before you. Let me cry before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall go forth with praise when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing of your promise, all your commandments of righteousness. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your commandments. I long for your salvation, O Lord. Your life is my delight. Let me live and I will praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Search for your servants, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. A lesson from the second book of Kings. The priest Hilkiah, Ahikam, Akbor, and Shaphan, and Asaiah went to the prophetess Hulda, the wife of Shalom, son of Tikva, son of Harpas, keeper of the wardrobe. She resided in Jerusalem in the second quarter where they consulted her. She declared to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, tell the man who sent you to me, Thus says the Lord, I will indeed bring disaster on this place and on its inhabitants and all the words of the book that the king of Judah has read, because they have abandoned me and have made offerings to the other gods, so that they have provoked me to anger with all the work of their hands. Therefore my wrath will be kindled against this place, but it will not be quenched. But as for as to the king of Judah, who sent you to inquire of the Lord, thus shall you say to him, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, regarding the words that you have heard, because your heart was penitent, and you humbled yourself before the Lord, when you heard how I spoke against this place and against its inhabitants, that they should become a desolation and a curse, and because you have torn your clothes and wept before me, I also have heard you, says the Lord. Therefore, I will gather you to your ancestors, and you shall be gathered to your grave in peace. Your eyes shall not see all the disaster 
that I will bring on this place. They took the message back to the king. Then the king directed all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem should be gathered to him. The king went up to the house of the Lord, and with him went all the people of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the priests, the prophets, and all the people, both small and great. He read in their hearing all the words of the book of the covenant that had been found in the house of the Lord. The king stood by the pillar and made a covenant before the Lord to follow the Lord, keeping his commandments, his decrees and his statutes with all his heart and all his soul to perform the words of his covenant, this covenant that were written in this book. All the people joined in the covenant. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is on upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom and childless of people. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will spring to your light, and kings to the brightness of your army. Your gates will always be open, by day and night they will never be shut. They will call on you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. While I will no more be heard in your land, the ruin of destruction will be in your waters. You will call your walls salvation, and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day, by night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. A lesson from the Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, for I have come to call not the righteous, but the sinners. Then the disciples of John came to him, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but the old disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, to them, The wedding guests cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them, can they? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one sews a piece of unshrunk clothes on an old clock, for the patch pulls away from the comb, and the worst tear is made. Neither is new wine put into old wine skins, otherwise the skins burst, and the wine is spilled, and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wine skins, and so both are preserved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 16. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born in the house of his servant David, who is all the prophets he promised of old, that they would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all the Jacobs. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, 
and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the most high, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins, and the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break the promise, to shine on those who dwell in our darkness in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, he is now, and he will be forever. Amen. God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose in. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Savior people, Lord, Bless your inheritance. Give up and now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your, your name forever. forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. And mercy, mercy on us, Lord, and mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. Lord, we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never go away. Gracious Savior, we pray that you would make your church one holy and Catholic. One holy Catholic <laughs> and apostolic. That you would bring the church to true repentance. Pray your hand upon the Anglican Communion, the Episcopal Church, for the Diocese of West Tennessee, and our Bishop Phoebe, Shannon Sharon, for St. Anne's Church in Millington, for the Diocese of Garissa in Kenya, for our outreach partners and those in need. Pray especially this day for the YMCA, the Church of the Holy Apostles, for the sick, the suffering, the oppressed, for those who serve the needs of others, especially those who are discouraged in this holy work, for missionaries and ministers, gift of your Holy Spirit in our spiritual warfare. Transform us and save us from the world, the flesh, the devil, and sin. We pray now for your needs and concerns. Christ has said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of our Lord be always with you.
Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right and the good and the joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven. We forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. And the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ to bread. And when he gave it thanks to you, broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And after supper, he took the cup of wine when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ, 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 Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit. To be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask for your Son, Jesus Christ. By him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. Hallelujah. The gifts of God for the people of God, take them and remember that Jesus Christ died for you. Be thou in your hearts by faith.
the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend on you today and remain with you forever. Amen. 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 Love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thank you, God. Alleluia. I brought some pastry from um, whatever. What if we need someone to volunteer to make coffee? I will go do it. Okay. And, but I, first, I've got to help Joe. <laughs> and I will learn how to do it. I never. I didn't realize it. That's a bad idea. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. um, yeah. I was sitting there. She wanted to.